In League of Legends, a critical strike is an attack that does two times the damage of a normal auto attack. In today's episode of Wall Math, we'll see how beneficial having every auto attack critically strike can be. First, we'll take a look at exactly how critical strikes work. Whether a champion will critically strike or not is decided from a random number generator. Whenever a champion attacks, a number between 0 and 100 is randomly chosen. If this number is less than the champion's amount of critical strike chance, their attack will be a critical strike. Because of this, it's entirely possible for a champion with 1% critical strike chance to have all their attacks critically strike. It's just very unlikely compared to a champion with, say, 75% critical strike chance. The only way to guarantee that every auto attack will be a critical strike is to have 100% critical strike chance. This sacrifices buying many attack damage boosting items, so we'll compare two different sets of items to see which is superior. First, let's look at some critical strike chance boosting items. Many physical damage dealing champions will buy an Infinity Edge and a Phantom Dancer as their first major items. One of the benefits to this is that these two items grant a total of 55% critical strike chance. Not only that, the Infinity Edge increases a critical strike's damage to 2.5 times the damage of an auto attack as opposed to 2 times the damage. Combined with the Lethality Mastery, which boosts critical strike damage by 10%, every critical strike will deal 2.6 times the damage of a normal attack. However, in order to guarantee that all auto attacks will critically strike, one needs to gain an additional 45% critical strike chance. This can be achieved with two items, an additional Phantom Dancer and the cheapest 15% critical strike chance item, the Executioner's Calling. Now, let's take a look at exactly how effective this can be when compared to attack damage boosting items. The cost of a Phantom Dancer and an Executioner's Calling totals to be 4,195 gold. For that amount, a champion could have also bought a Bloodthirster and still have about enough gold to buy 32 attack damage via items. A Bloodthirster grants 60 to 100 attack damage depending on how many minion kills it has. It also grants 12 to 20% lifesteal based on how many minion kills it has. The Executioner's Calling grants 18% lifesteal, which is only 2% short when the Bloodthirster is full. However, the value to take note of is how much damage will be dealt. Let's assume Ash has bought the Phantom Dancer and the Executioner's Calling. She has about 170 attack damage, which will then be multiplied by 2.6 on all of her auto attacks, dealing 442 damage on every attack. Keep in mind that we're not taking armor into account, since both the attack damage boosting items and the critical strike chance boosting items would be reduced by the same ratio, as a critical strike boost is applied before armor is taken into account. Now, if we assume Ash has an additional 100 attack damage from the Bloodthirster, even taking into account the 32 attack damage from the gold she hasn't spent yet, she still only deals 302 attack damage, showing that the critical strike items dealt far more damage. However, there's one variable we need to take into account. If Ash bought the Bloodthirster, we're assuming she still has an Infinity Edge and Phantom Dancer. Therefore, there's still a chance that Bloodthirster Ash can critically strike. Since Bloodthirster Ash has 55 critical strike chance, none of her critical strikes are guaranteed like critical strike chance Ash. However, for the sake of this comparison, Let's assume each Ash auto-attacked a hundred times, and Bloodthirster Ash critically striked on 55 of those attacks. One of Bloodthirster Ash's critical strikes will deal 785.2 damage. Multiply that by 55, and we get a total of 43,186 damage. We'll also add her 45 other attacks, which dealt 302 damage each, for a total of 56,776 damage over the course of a hundred auto-attacks. Moving on to critical strike chance Ash, since all her critical strikes are guaranteed, one of her auto attacks of 170 attack damage will be multiplied by 2.6 to equal 442 damage. 100 of these attacks will deal 44,200 total damage. We can see here that Bloodthirster Ash is actually superior, assuming 55 of her attacks critically striked. In conclusion, while it's impossible to predict critical strikes without 100% critical strike chance, it would appear that building attack damage and hoping one gets a few lucky critical strikes is a superior alternative to building a 100% critical strike chance. This episode of Wall Math was brought to you by KillSteelGaming.com. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. If you have any comments, questions, feedback, or ideas for future episodes of Wall Math, feel free to post in the comments section underneath this video. Also, check out the previous Wall Math video by clicking on the annotation on the screen. Thanks for watching.